Welcome everybody to uh, Alpha Wit Thursdays, uh, now on Wit's channel for the foreseeable future. Yay. I am the Wit part. Yay. That's the Alpha part. Yay. And um, tonight we're going to start what is hopefully going to be a new long play. Uh, we'll see how it works. Um, and this is a game I don't remember purchasing. Um, it was probably in some developer bundle with something I did want, and it was, I don't know. Um, I am pretty sure it's a 3D point-and-click adventure game, but we'll see. Are you sure perhaps you weren't drinking? I am, only because I don't ever drink. Okay. Um, but other than that, that's the only reason I'm sure. And if I sound a little bit froggy tonight, I'm coming down from a cold. Indeed. I will mute before I have to do anything, so nobody's got to put yeah, up with that. Yeah, he's got a sneeze button, or a cough button in this case. Okay, then let me pull up the game and let's cough, get started. Cough. Hey, I thought you said you were going to hit the button. And we'll see cough, if this sucker cough. crashes. Oh. Uh, Alpha, can you see? I see. Great. DTP Entertainment AG. Centauri Production. Pretty sure everybody was sick. Pretty Like all at the same time. Chibi thinks she should know this game, and I think we'll see now if she does. Um... I get the feeling that it's European, but I'm not sh positive of this. Apparently Cinemax had something to do with it. Yep, Cinemax had something to do with it. He keeps saying that. Especially when scientists talk about deadlines. Uh, Chibi, let me know how volume is. I'll stop talking for a bit. Dr. Bramstrom, it does start off quiet. Where do you plan to put your groundbreaking new analysis method into practice? Are you in touch with the Metropolitan Museum? As the whole project would never she says game volume as well. Yeah. I can I can tweak as necessary. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Where is my mouse? Okay. This will pause while I do stuff. Game volume is low. Would I put? Could I put up my desktop audio? I mean, you could if that would help you. I can tweak my mic lower if I need, or, or my headset lower. Well, let's try this. <clears throat> okay. And see if it's noticeably better for her. Hmm. Ring. I'm listening. It's just as we feared. How much time do we have? Little. Too little. It still you? feels low. No, Chibi. not anymore. Chibi says Others it seems better. Come, yeah? But not okay. At once. That could be enough yeah, trade for secret. For me, right. it's usually really we low. Not draw attention to us okay. Out. I understand. An unhappy it doesn't bother me as much because I'm used to... Like or I know what the games sound like. Yes. The sea would be suitable. Be careful and remember. Those who are without doubt will be rewarded. Memento mori. It's a Latin phrase that means like um, memory of death or memento of death or something. Memory of death, yeah. And it that means something, but I can't remember what it is. GB is no longer having trouble hearing the speakers. Well, great. Then let's get started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the weird whispering. In the world's most beautiful apartment. And it's French, go figure. Sad story has got its beginning, its time and place, its tragic characters and its puppet masters. Our story began with a phone call. This guy reminds me a little bit of the narrator for Civilization V. But it could just be any, like, deep, gravelly voiced man. I actually really love this shot because it feels really accurate. The the water in the face, not the naked body. Another 135 degrees to your left, and uh... the naked body feels like a David Cage game. I don't mind that. Eh. I do, however, mind this. You're gross. 
That perfect hourglass figure all covered up. Yeah, towels don't work like that, just you for the record. One new message. Austin Kovic here. Call me immediately. I repeat, immediately. As soon as you get this message. And Svetlova, get ready to give me a clever explanation for why your cell phone is off all the time. Use your cell phone so that we don't have to go through the identification procedure. Hmm. Sergei Vasily Ostankovich, Colonel of Russian Militia. My former boss at Department 12, Art mm. Forgery and Theft, before I transferred to Interpol. It's a lovely necklace, Certainly except that it's drawn under her no body. Sense of humor. Quite clearly in top form again. Who's and paying attention to the necklace? In with me here in Leon doesn't imply I don't know, I guess I'm just not particularly really horny today. Find my cell phone and call I mean, you're happily taken, I'm not. I can be horny. I can be horny whenever I want. Yes, but... Why does she have, have her... Some private notes and newspaper articles. Well, this was a good one. Van Klept was a broker in forgeries. Is that supposed to mean anything? Don't think we care about your police badge. Try poking your curious nose where you shouldn't one more time and... <laughs> nice, eh? Van Klept wasn't very pleased when we confiscated six million dollars worth of stolen paintings. Gee, you think? <sighs> I have to confess something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I can tell the difference between a, like, a racistly Russian accent and a genuinely Russian accent. Yeah, neither can I. There's a cutscene about the bin? I don't see the point oh. moving the bin around in my apartment and revealing the ugly socket behind it without any reason. That feels what if weirdly I wanna significant. What if I want to see I the like socket? Writing, I need a waste paper basket near me. It's where most of my notes end up. And it hides the ugly socket. Okay, that sounds significant. Um, I'm looking for her cell phone. Wow, there's a lot to click on here, huh? It is a point and click. Are as any I of these new? Wow, well, still are new. Colonel told me that he's heard good things about you from Leon. I'm proud of you, girl. When I see you again, you must tell me all about it, Dad. We, we never had the opportunity to have that chat. Even Sounds though to you're me. off to see the big wide world, try to remember occasionally whose fruits you stole from the fridge in the lab. <laughs> and don't let yourself fall for any French men. Russian men are the best. Good luck, Sergey. How many the times is not worth mentioning? Can I click on this? Oh, the rest is not worth mentioning, and then it goes away. Okay. Boy, we're gonna be doing a lot of these, huh? I don't see the point moving the bin around. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that yeah, 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 that's know. repeated. Even if I somehow forgot the colonel's instructions to call him only from my cell phone, I can't call him anyway. His number's in the cell phone, and I don't know it by heart. Okay. So she gives you usually, like, in-universe reasons to say enough now. Thank God. Um. It, like, gives me Getting options? Getting dressed might be the best thing to do right now. Okay, so you see how the circle's, first. like, split in half? An open CD case. Mm. Mm, the CD is missing. I think... That there, are, that gives me left and right click, but I'm not positive about this. An open CD Because that was right click, so mm, I guess look CD is with missing. the eyeball. And this is left Getting click. dressed might be the best thing to do right yeah, now. And I don't think she wants is. to pick it up. Yeah, look at the animation that's on the, uh... Yeah. Okay, so she seems to feel strongly about getting dressed. Here is in wardrobe. This is where I keep my clothes. Quite ordinary items. No princess robes or shorts with built-in holsters. I think that was a Damn. dig at Lara Croft. <laughs> you know, it probably was. This is where I keep... Nice. Still, still, damn. Tasteful pan. Ah, oh, come on. That is such a gay outfit. I love it. Sweater and collared shirt and, like, slacks is actually pretty gay. We seem to have co-opted professional wear. Uh, now I wonder if she'll pick up the CD. An empty CD cover. Hmm. I wonder what I can use it for. I might put a CD in it, but who even knows. 
Oh, that's a great sounds question. Like, How do I access my inventory? Sounds like a f good frisbee too. Um, try clicking on try clicking on self. It's not really a self. I wonder if there's a controls. Yeah, go to advanced. No, that's where I was doing other stuff. I guess maybe it's all... Mm, I don't know, maybe it'll come up when I need it? To the window! I'm going to look that up because I don't want the same frustration as we had last week. So far, everything has been mouse-based. The jacket dead bought me when he came to see me here for the first and last time. But that's long Inventory is seen when the cursor is moved to the top of the screen. Oh. A CD cover. It's empty. Well, it appears to be a music CD. An empty CD cover. I borrowed the CD from Muriel at the office. Oh. Also, there's no Z anywhere. You know, in Z office. Huh. Cool. Thank you for that. Hmm. Okay. Um. A picture of Hermione. I found her outside our house in Petersburg. Poor Hermione. Sounds hopefully like an animal or else I would have the jacket dead capital Q questions about finding her outside the house <laughs> yep, yep, yep. a permanent that... pen Oh, a computer. Ready and waiting hmm. for the moment when I finally impose some order on my photo CDs. There's a strong possibility a the CD might be in there. Use. Indeed. Nice, nice. Charger? For what? I'm getting my distracted. My cell phone's charger. The phone has a battery that's long past its glory days. Well, everyone needs a cell phone the charger. charger. Will come in handy. These days, I charge the phone more frequently than I use it to make calls. The battery is finished. 2006. <laughs> this box holds my nightmares. <laughs> Unpaid bills, reminders, <laughs> as if the paperwork at the Interpol wasn't enough. Nice. Mm. Okay, we are going to look at the television because I remember looking at that when I tested this out and it started saying some significant things. Hey, look, 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 look. What? And there. CD. I'm trying to get her to move closer. You may just have to interact with the computer. This computer isn't the latest model, but I don't really need much more than access to the internet and sometimes a CD player. Who does nowadays? There is a CD in the disk drive. Wonderful music. For work, for rest, for everything. Since the computer will not boot up anymore, the CD is unfortunately quite useless. Huh. I mean, I know a guy that can help with that. Maybe. Yeah, I do too. He's you. He's not the perfect, but entry. he can... I have to give it back to Muriel, or I'll have one less friend. That means none. Oh, that's bleak. Hmm. Yeah, a little the bit. The computer crashed a few days ago. Now it won't boot. But why have it repaired? I have a computer at the office, and I'm there most of the time. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Listen, lady, your choice. I wouldn't be able to survive. Switch. A light switch. These things are used to... switch lights on and off. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you gotta write these things into... Okay. Why? I don't quite know. There's, There's got to be something good on television. Story. Thank God. I just can't do without having my morning and evening shower. 
Ba -ba 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 when I moved in here, this bookcase was nearly empty. I filled it up in no time. I've got a thing about books. Oh, bookworm, huh? A book called The Tales and Myths of Antiquity. Greek gods, heroes, monsters. I loved this, even when I was a little girl. Oh, chibi. Isn't this amazing? Sure, no good deed goes oh, wrong. Lord. It's my favorite part because you'll see. Here's where she meets Prince Charming. But she won't discover that it's him till chapter three. Well done. Thanks. Somehow I didn't know you could sing. Um, I can so-so sing. There is a bedroom up there. When I can I normally sing, but not in the current write. shape of my throat. Mm, it, it, it will do some fun mine. things to your range to have your sinuses clogged up, but the sore yeah, throat like will it. ruin it, yeah. Of course, Chibi got both references quite quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh, and she was haven't... also stage manager for a production of Beauty and the Beast once. Yeah, I was uh, Spotlight, so I saw the production about 18 times and could not get the songs out of my head for seven and a half months. I'm just a, I'm just a Disney music nut. I would like to put the CD in the case, please. That is so unbelievably OCD. I think it might be teaching you how to do it. Uh, I still haven't found her cell phone. We haven't gone to watch TV either. Ah, uh, yes, we should watch television. Um, we always have to watch television. Well, How I can you have a television? It, it's saying something in... Oh, statue. More than art. Hard to say what it actually is. However, it's a gift, it's fashionable, and I guess it's really expensive. I'd be selling that shit. <laughs> Depends on if you prefer to... It... I've brought this bowl from Petersburg. It's the only thing of my mum's that I have. Oh. Oh. Well, that sucks. Uh, so, I'm... okay. Whoa. The news and the film noir. Not much of a choice. All right. I'll put it on anyway. There's got to the be something. Near DeWitt, Clinton Park. From the sea. The man was identified as Anatoly Abramchikov, a Russian scientist lecturing at a scientific symposium. This in guy. New York. Oh. Police are investigating the case, but so far no signs of violence have been found. In the next item, we'll be talking to Professor Yuli Yachenkov, great work friend and colleague of Anatoly Abramchikov's. He'll be on the line from Moscow. Oh my lord, Abramchikov. That Abramchikov dead. I talked to him a few times when I was in Petersburg. He was going to lecture here on his new analysis method in two weeks. This is a really bad day. Isn't it funny how most of these games seem to be on a really bad day? I mean, we were warned. The, the gravelly-voiced narrator did tell us that all sad stories start with something. Yeah. And this one was a phone call. Have we been upstairs yet? She didn't want to go upstairs. She just says that there was one. Um, can you call your cell phone from your phone? I mean, that's what I would do. Even if I somehow forgot the no. So she didn't want to go upstairs, huh? This apartment is so pretty. It's mostly because there's just, like, no stuff in it. My apartment would be very pretty, too, if I didn't live here. Oh, you know what? I'm wondering. I'm wondering if you have to be closer to the stairs to actually trigger it. Just... It seems to be desk or window. Hmm. Maybe there's a coat somewhere and the phone might be still in the pocket. Oh, there was that coat. Yeah. That's as plausible as anything else. I mean, I've I've historically left my phone in my uh in my pockets.
That's where my cell Alpha, phone you is. fucking genius. My cell phone. Sad it's my own sad personal experience. Ah, doesn't matter anyhow. Most people I have to contact are colleagues at work, and I can reach them over the office phone line. And of course, my cell phone is flat again. Oh, damn it. The battery is really no good. How am I can to work Can you look up if the voice phone? actress that did this is actually Russian? Doesn't seem like a very strong accent. And But the other guy seemed too strong. Maybe maybe there's some... Uh... In her <clears throat> defense, she is currently living in France. Maybe her accent has faded a little. Possible. Okay. Now will you let me move the bin? Thank you. Look. There's a socket right behind the bin. <laughs> what a surprise. What a surprise. That's a strange thing You're the one that's calling say. it ugly. Well, whatever. Charge her up. Good. The charge is in the socket. I don't even know why I bother unplugging it and putting it away. The phone should stay charged for at least three days. But at the moment, I need to recharge it twice a day. Twice a day, every day. Good. We'll see what that terrible battery can hold. Nothing. Now what do I do? Well... The phone could be at least partially charged now. Give me that phone. The battery is the same piece of junk as before, but it might just last a few phone calls. Call the chief. He's not the chief, he's the colonel. Colonel guy whose name I can't remember. Not that one. Ostanovic. Yeah, I just wanted to see what else she had. Pizza, I like it. Finally. You must have time on your hands in Leon. Why let the ringing of a cell phone bother you, right? The guys in the technical department of Interpol, especially Jennings, are unfortunately unable to repair my cell phone at the moment. Normally I'm accessible all the time, of course. What happened? Everything I tell you now is strictly confidential. It stays between you and me. No colleagues, no departmental memos, no recordings, nothing. Do we understand each other? Well, if it's nothing illegal... Don't make me angry, Svetlova. This matter is too serious. Last night, the security system in the St. Petersburg State Hermitage Museum was out of order for several minutes. Fortunately, the outer perimeter remained functional. Its cameras didn't record anything Typo. unusual. Mm. That's a nuisance. But if nobody entered the museum, then nothing could be taken either, could it? I personally examined the place. My initial impression was that nothing significant was missing. But I've got a feeling that something is. No one could give me a good explanation as to how both the main and backup security circuits stopped working at the same time. If everything is in its place, then it could only mean something's been exchanged for a fake. Uh, however, there is nothing on the outer cameras, so the culprit and what he stole would have to still be in the museum. How about a thorough search of the place? Are you mad? Do you understand what a scandal it would be? A week after they were praising me in the press for my fine work, front page in our most popular daily, and with me about to be awarded the Medal of Honor. No, we must keep it secret. Must find out whether something Politics are weird. Happened mm. Without an official investigation. That means I want to have Max Durant here in St. Petersburg as soon as possible. But how can he help you there? If you can't even support him officially, he won't be able to do anything. Listen to me closely. I don't Show know if it's my resolution or they did this on purpose, no but this shot is framed directly on her chest. So I'm no longer your superior. But I still I'm sorry, what? Have <laughs> yeah. You better not forget the interests of your motherland take all precedence. Therefore, be so kind and don't question my decision. Get Durand for me, and if he's hesitant, tell him that I have his file on my table. I can still change my mind about our mutual cooperation. 
Remind him I could have him arrested and locked up for a very long time. Not to mention that sometimes terrible accidents can happen. Jesus, life. dude. Damn the yeah. Flat. Now of all times. That's a... That's a hell of a series of I threats. I wonder how they would like it at the technical department when I whack their heads with that junk of a battery. God knows when I sent the application for a new one. Damn it. Ostankovich will go ballistic if I don't get Max. Without a working cell phone, I must try to contact him from my office. I'd bring the charger with, regardless. Just so Yeah, I was you... wondering if we should get the charger, or... You're probably best. Or leave the phone it here. It's in the right place. I'd better not risk taking it out. Who knows whether it would work again if I did. I'll try putting the phone there, but... I mean, it didn't sound like the charger was the problem. That's the last drop. The cell phone won't even work when I put it on charge. Oh. The battery's gone forever now. Oh, great. Just great. I need Did you look up this actress? Did anybody? Department. No. What was that? Did you look up the actress? Uh, no. I can. Please do. She, it's, she's doing a pretty damn good job. Even if it's not her original accent, it's pretty good. And her, her inflection's not bad, especially for the challenge of having to narrate every action. Holy crap, apparently there was a film called Memento Mori in 2018, and one in 1999. Maybe I'm uncool, but I just ignore what South Korean. For fashion these days. Not based on this, surely. I mean, that's a popular phrase. Leon, my current residence. I haven't seen it at all yet. Most of my time is eaten up by work. And to make things worse, Ostankovich calls. Lara? I thought her name was Svetlova. Could be Lara Svetlova. I suppose, or Svetlova Lara. That also supports the idea that that this is a ripoff of uh, Lara Croft. No, I don't think I'm going to be sh jumping or shooting. If all the flags of the Interpol member states were here, you wouldn't be able to move. There are almost 80, but some of them are, how should I say this, not all that cooperative. Remy, he jokes all the time. Damien Neville, I can't remember him or his colleague Remy ever being in a bad mood. Yeah, Chibi's right. First name is Larissa. Oh, so Svetlova's her last name? Because that is yeah. a first Sometimes name as well. No yeah. Have you been on Svetlova's holiday? last name. Nothing escapes you. I was on the Canary Islands for a week. Very touristy, but uh, at least it was warm. <laughs> I would go again right now. Uh, I was wondering, do you happen to know Muriel? Petite, dark-haired. She works here at the telephone exchange. I, uh, I, I haven't even noticed anyone like that here. Hold on. Doesn't she mean the one who comes here for her cigarette break? Come on. She looks totally different. Why are you asking, anyway? She went on holiday at the same time you did, and she was in the Canary Islands as well. She wouldn't tell me Ooh. who she was going with. So I was thinking that maybe, by pure coincidence, you met there? No. I can't remember her. I haven't seen her around. Well, how could you? When you say that you don't even know what she looks like. Well, uh, Remy. Have the Germans arrived? <laughs> Excuse me, miss, but uh, we are expecting a delegation. Oh, hey. Germans? Are they really supposed to come today? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, I'll explain it to you straight away. So, uh, chatting about the girl working at the <laughs> telephone exchange has to wait. I am sorry. Sure, Damien. Of course. Chibi says she's lying, or he's lying. Of course he is, but I think you know, it's harmless. Yeah, we can all we can all tell that. Um, interestingly, I I find it kind of neat that she only wears one earring. Um, uh, my friend's mom has only one of her ears pierced, which I think is kind of bananas. A detailed list of all the departments in this building. I wonder if there's a socket behind Without this bin. Without a single scrap of paper. Security checks everything all the time because of possible attacks. That actually makes a lot of sense. There are two things that keep me awake during a long night working overtime. Sugar <coughs> and chocolate bars. Same, girl. <laughs> Lit 
lift controls. If I want to go to another floor, I'd better push the button for it. Okay, she probably knows where to go, but I don't. And they will not let me investigate the sign. Hmm. Maybe it's a sign. Ah, a joke. Ha <laughs> ha. Choose the floor. Office, laboratory, office, I guess. Oh! I must get Max. I hope he's at home. Nice or calendar. At least in the town somewhere. Yeah, I'm not finding anything about the cast of this My game. Work phone. Our yearly assessments. Most of my achievements are filed under the result of working in a tightly knit team of the very best people. Interesting how our successes are a result of teamwork, and our failures are the products of individual efforts <laughs> around here. That's too close to reality. Oh, this is so much stuff to look at. A journalist approached Muriel in the street and asked her what she thought about adding new member states to the European Union. Her response was not exactly breathtaking. It hangs here just to make her happy. <laughs> this one is about a theft in Madrid. I could have gotten the paintings back if I hadn't made one stupid mistake. I put it up here to remind me not to do that again. Hmm. Which, just... according to Charlotte Renier, the head of the art theft department, were the result of strenuous effort of her subordinates and herself. <laughs> that part always makes me laugh. I worked on that case alone. Mm -hmm. A short review of a book written by my ex-boyfriend. I don't know why I haven't thrown it away. This is a description of a successful operation. Paintings worth almost three million dollars were recovered and three wise guys are awaiting trial. <laughs> Interpol spokeswoman announced a week ago that the paintings recovered but it now looks like she was mistaken. There has been no response to our recent inquiries. I enjoy success, but remembering mistakes and not repeating them is more important to me. And this was one of my bigger mistakes. I guess I uh, support that, but it's a little grim. A dull report mm. assessing work effectiveness in our department. Renia <sighs> insists that everybody reads them regularly. I forgot to give back the CD Muriel lent me. She'll kill me. I've had the CD for two months. It's a reminder to give Muriel back the CD she lent me. Okay. It's empty. I haven't found time to have it filled yet. Here you it's can a nice find office. It is a nice cases, office. Regulations Chair looks directed. awful, but other than that. However, most of it is accessible online. You may want to resume your call to Ostankovic. Yeah, but what if that, like, advances the plot? Gotta do all the stuff first. Yeah, that's fair. An ordinary PC hooked to the internet and to the local network. Like any work machine. Well, almost any work machine. Some of them aren't hooked up to the outside for security reasons. Just another month full of work. And then another, and another. All right. Grim. All right, let's call Max. Switchboard, I guess. Muriel from the telephone exchange won't have Max's cell phone number. Oh. And I haven't memorized it. So what the fuck do I do? Hmm. Our, uh, can we look it up? I hope we don't need the dead cell phone. I don't know. If its battery is dead, dead, then you won't even be able to... I mean, you'd think, right? <clears throat> Tragic death of Professor Abramchikov. It's a terrible loss, particularly to those of us who knew him personally. At the time of his death, Professor Abramchikov was working on a prototype fluorescent x-ray machine. 
which was due to come into service with us once it had finished preliminary testing at the Hermitage Museum in Petersburg. I am sure you will all be disappointed as I am to learn that this will now have to be postponed. His new device was a testimony to his genius, four times as sensitive as our present machines and mechanically so simple it could be used outside the laboratory to detect forgeries on site. This would have revolutionized our work, enabling us to go through an entire gallery in a few weeks. Nice run on sentence there. Yeah, wow. Work on this project will be delayed significantly and is unlikely that the prototype will be with us anytime soon. The loss of Professor Abramchikov is a blow to us all. The world has lost a truly great scientist. Let us all devote a prayer to him, Charlotte. From Peter Jennings, can you communication about the change in internal directives? Good morning. <laughs> I'd like to advise everyone concerning the frequently misunderstood procedure for reporting to your pr reporting problems with your office PCs. As long as your computer is capable of browsing the internet network, please use the report form on our inter on our departmental homepage. You'll be contacted as soon as possible. Use the phone only in emergency. Unnecessary phone calls hold up our technicians and delay the repair of you and your colleagues' computers. Thank you for understanding. Have a nice day. Jennings. It seems I'm standing in Peter for beer again. I should get it done oh. as soon as possible, or the boss will go wild. Why does that name sound so familiar? The former, the former ABC News anchor. Ah, that's funny. Dear Laura, can you do me a big favor? I had to go and see my mother again, so I'll be away from Lyon for two, possibly three days. Before I left, something arrived at the lab, but I didn't have time to analyze it. Could you please do that for me? I'll pay you back a hundred times. It's strange, but a special department of Belgian police found a track of someone who claims he's got the original of Bruegel's Flemish Proverbs hanging in the Gemmel de Gallery in Berlin. He's trying to sell the painting. They managed to get a photo of the painting, and they want us to compare it with the certified photo of the original to see if they are identical or if the Joker's trying to sell a forgery. If it's a forgery, they'll lock him up, of course. If not, which would really surprise me, they'll follow him and try to get to other stolen paintings. I know this sounds incredible, but unfortunately they only have the photo of the painting offered for sale and they insist on our analyzing it. I told them this was not the way things are done in the 21st century, but they wouldn't listen. Compare the two photographs, please. If you find a difference, the more differences the better, of course. You know yourself we need at least three differences to perform faultlessly right now. Highlight it with a permanent marker. You can leave it there in the lab afterwards. Just write me an email what you found out. I heard, by chance, that you had some troubles with your cell phone battery lately. We all know how... We all know how long such things can take to be handled in our technical department. So I already have had a chat with Jennings, so when you order the new battery, he will be reminded to get it to you ASAP, provided you help me out, but I'm guessing you will. By the way, you should have come to the last barbecue of Jennings. You were invited. Would have been a chance for you to getting... What? Would have been a chance for you to getting him known better. Huh? I, that almost works. It's just not uh -huh. colloquial. I'm no. Getting him if known better. Yeah, yes. Thanks, Pierre Boulet. Boulet. That's very close to Pierre Boulet, who is uh, a French American I... composer and conductor. I saw Bouillon at first. It seems I'm standing in for Pierre again. I should get it done as soon as possible, or the boss will go wild. Okay, so let's remember that. Max has cancelled more meetings than I can count. Right now, he's busy working for the University of Toulouse. Next time, it might be Paris. He's a little too loose. <laughs> Hello, Lara. I know we're supposed to go to the exhibition tomorrow. Tomorrow or the day after? Unfortunately, I can't make it. I have to stand in for a sick colleague, so I have a couple of lectures to do at the Toulouse University. I'm leaving now, and I'm going to spend three days there. I think I might get some rest there as well. I'll phone you when I come back. Max. P.S. I'll have my phone switched off as mu ugh, much as possible so that nobody disturbs me. If you want to tell me off for not calling you, you'll just have to wait until my return. P.P.S. <laughs> your ex-boyfriend called. Isn't he a little bit mad? He shouted at me because he thought you had left him because of me. You better speak to him about that. By the way, you have a really strange taste in men. <laughs> oh, cool. Right. Databases. Oh, he's a criminal. I guess that makes sense. Suspected of art forgery and sales, caught by the Russian militia while trying to sell a forged painting to the Petersburg Hermitage. Uh, falls under Ostankovich Sergei, action leader Svetlova Larissa, due to the loss of proof material released from custody at the command of Colonel Ostankovich. Neat. 
How? What's his phone Mar number? Marissa sounds incredibly close to Marissa. They are very similar. She was born in 76? Holy smokes. Makes her 32 at the time. Or so. Peter Jennings. Boy, he's young. Well, 2006, so what, in his 20s? Mm hmm. I wonder why some of them have this, some of them don't. There are a lot of spelling errors here, or rather inconsistencies. Hmm, yeah. Renice or Rainier? How about Pierre Bouillon? Another technology expert. Seems we're a dime a dozen these days, doesn't it? Hmm. Excuse me? <laughs> well, I can tell you two things. This was not an American made game. It's not a British made game, and it's not a French made game. Paris, France. <laughs> That's a lot of accents. <laughs> My God. The dead guy. Abramchikov is dead? Yeah. Oh, you're being funny. Maybe. Max. Maybe later. No, now. It's important. Lip. So, how the hell do I find him? So, Max is somewhere at the university in Toulouse, and his cell phone is off. Great. And I need to speak with him as soon as possible. That sounds like a perfect job for my friend Muriel working at the switchboard. And that's exactly why she works there. Okay, now we're allowed now to Now we have reason. <laughs> Right. We she won't know his cell, but she might be able to find us at the University of Toulouse. We also need to call Jennings about the phone battery. Telephone exchange, how can I help you? Hi, Muriel. This is Lara. Have you got a minute? Sure. It's busy today, but of course I'm here for my friends. Anything new? Mm, not much. Look, I need something. Could you get me through to someone? That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but it isn't one of us. Also, it's not an official matter. It's Max Durand, a friend of mine. He is lecturing at the Toulouse University at the moment. Typical. Of course, when I want something from you, you just ignore me. You think I forget my best friend? I've got the CD. GB with thinks me. it's Czech. You know what? Hmm. I'll send someone to you with it. Lara, you never change. That's what you said last time. I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone has just come in. Ah. Huh. So she won't do it until we give her the CD? Call, uh, call Jennings first. Yeah. Oh, I think we have to call Jennings after we've done the thing Jennings. for what's oh, his look face. At, oh, look it's at this. Over, Mayonnaise has come in. I need Mayonnaise! Yes. He's raiding with eight I people. What? Benjamin, welcome you to you as well. The request no, 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 we're a bad show. Don't do this. Days. <laughs> look. I have something to I, I don't think anything we say friend, will um, but I'd be happy change the hat. We're very unpopular. Weekend. Personally, just the two of us. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was you. I'm working on it. Go do your lab work. It'll be on your desk soon. Uh, you mean that about the weekend? Considering that a month ago you spilled a bottle of wine on me and now you can't even remember my Ooh. name, <laughs> I don't know. 
I'll have to think about it. I'm this sorry. is how romance works. I'll do my best. He must feel really embarrassed. It serves him right, though. I can't recommend dating anyone in your office. It's just too risky. Yeah, no worries, Mayonnaise. My friend here is just, uh, grumpy. Pessimistic, and also grumpy. Yeah. But also realistic. We're not, mmm. I can't, mmm. Anyway, this is a game from 2006, at least. It's called Memento Mori. I don't ever remember buying it, but I have it. I also have its sequel for some reason. Um, it's a point and click, 3D point and click adventure game. And here we all are. Hmm. Blue Roo, welcome. Okay, whatever you do, don't subscribe to me. You should subscribe to Alpha, who oh, should put his Twitch channel that? in chat, because he Someone's actually streams. Coming to do <sighs> if you insist. <laughs> he asked me to help as a friend. That's how things are in life. But you wouldn't understand that, Demer. You have to have friends first. Friends? All oh, right. You mean those people who keep telling you things you don't care about, and then make you do their work? No, I really don't have friends. Oh god, how could I have missed so much all my life? Hey, dude, are you okay? Pascal de Mer, the head of the lab. A grumpy oddball. Luckily, Pierre is the only person here who has to work with him. Oh, alrighty then. I doubt anything could happen to anybody in this place. But regulations are regulations. OSHA. Okay, not that yet, because I think that's the actual plot significant thing. Laboratory A, which implies misleadingly that we have a laboratory B. <laughs> Thank God we have this one, at least. <laughs> well, that saves us the trouble of exploring other labs. Healing that was funny to me. Yes, Mayo, food, food. Our new chromatograph. I hope it lasts longer than that wreck we had before. It won't. For promise. some things, you really need a lot of light. Unfortunately, these lights heat as much as they illuminate. In summer, it must be unbearable in here. We suffer like animals in here. But what would you know about that? You go to exhibitions and parties. How <laughs> could I forget? Well, you he's seemed not, cool. He's not bitter at all. It's strange you can't see the periodic table around here. You know, up till now, I had thought that only the English possessed your wonderful talent for observation. Ooh. Oh. Wow, double slam! Damn. Do I get to touch this? I don't think I need to test anything right now. No. Okay, I probably get to touch this. Pierre's work, which he tossed at me. Not for the first time, and certainly hey, the best not kind of scientist the is the crazy one. By the way, disclaimer, guys, Wit actually cannot see her chat right now. She's oh got yeah, her... no, I'm sorry. Alpha has to interpret for me. This game is full screen. This yeah. will erase any pen marks, in case I make them where I shouldn't. It's a permanent pen. We've discussed this. Okay, so is this one of those uh, find the differences kind yes, of things? I think it Which is. You tossed at me, not for the first time. And certainly it won't be the last. If this is a forgery, then there must be things that differ from the original. I should mark them somehow. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, see if you can get a... This is a forgery. See if you can get a picture that matches the one on the table there. I guess that's... Nope. No. I'm not crazy about this view. Oh, it's this one. Ah, uh, yeah. Man in the green hat and the arch. Okay, so I've got a pen. Is this really the view I have to do this in? Okay, I can't draw on that one. Now I've got everything oh, I need. okay. Whew. Let's get the job done. The job which Pierre was to do, of course, and which, as usual, I have to do. He sounds great. So... Ah, oh, hell yeah, okay. Okay, so that's how that works. Good find. 
Well, I'd better start all over again. Okay. Wait, why? Because it was nothing. I'm not so sure because look at the uh, look at the angle of that arch. Well, but look at the angles of the two paintings. Hmm. I mean. This is this is an awful screen. Is this really how I have to do this? I I guess. I don't. This is no good. There's a dolphin in the water. Oh, it's it doesn't have a bottle in its mouth. That's the main difference. See? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I hope that's close enough. But yes, something is different and that it doesn't have a bottle in its mouth. Yeah, you guys will find that a lot of the dialogue in this is meant to be mocked. And by the way, the Russian accents you hear, please tell us. Are they legitimate or are they falsified? We were trying to look up the the cast to, to see if we could like find a bio of them, but we there is no cast information. I've yeah, I was unable to find it, so if anybody else has better luck finding the cast, by all means. Uh, um there's like a step in the wall but maybe it's just cut off because this is an awful photograph I hate the angle and perspective yeah this is straight up bananas um highlight over the guy with the aardvark again or whatever that creature is I think it's a pig okay uh We're looking for three differences. Three differences? Yeah. I was never good at this kind of thing. I'm good at better ones. <laughs> Maybe somebody's ass is sticking out too far. Yeah, this is weird and weird. Like how s whoop. Fuck. Did you know that left click works too? No, well, I didn't. Better start all over again. Uh, I meant right click. Anyway, the point is. Yeah, JB's right. The angle sucks. Anyway, it still doesn't have a bottle in its mouth. There should be a man back there. Look, there's a man or something. Nice eye. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Why do I only have so little of it to work with? I guess there's a little bit cut off by my resolution on my screen. Hmm. And this giant thing down here. It's not helping things any. So what it mm. Um the Is stick there a, a little... man down here? We'll never know. According to Benjamin, it is check, which means Chibi had it right. Do we think the voice actors are all Czech? Or is this like the American, the English cast? Well, he, well, he mentioned about the Czech accents and the Slav accents, so I would say... Well, maybe it's the Czech actors and they knew English. I don't know. But those guys had French accents. And pretty good mm. ones, too. I mean, either way, we have... Uh... Either way, we have an we have an answer. There's definitely some Czech involved here. I wonder how different the Czech accent is from the Russian accent. I say mark that guy's ass just for the hell of it. No, I'm not gonna mark his. Mm. Why? X marks the spot, man. Should there? Should you be able to see the man here? Um. 
looks a little too far west to see to see him. Hmm. What's that? What's that foot up there in the top right corner of the drawing? I don't know if it's in the. It's like too far north of the picture. Uh. I hate this. I also wonder how close my exes have to be. I mean, not everybody has to be close with their exes. Yeah, a joke. <laughs> I'm gonna say that like this isn't great. Go for it. I'll put it like right in the middle of all this. So oh, there's mistakes. three. I should tell Pierre. I hope that's enough. Right. This should be enough. It's obviously a fake, perhaps even a joke. I should write Pierre the email to let him know it's done. Alright. I shall. I feel like that third one may have been legitimate. I hope so. God, I wonder how close I had to be. Okay, back to the office to email Pierre and talk to Jennings because he said that if we did the lab work, he should probably be finished. And then figure out a way to get the CD to Muriel because she won't call Max. Uh, this guy. Wow, the quote marks have missed. She's an excellent typist. Mm. Now can I call Jennings? Technical department, Jennings speaking. Svetlova, SWOA. Uh, I this need looks a like the same thing. Battery. Well, if it goes that flat, try to survive a few more days. Some new phones should be arriving shortly. It doesn't go flat quickly. It doesn't work at all. How am I to do anything with a phone that's no good? Do you know how much Keyboard I have right now? And you're bothering me about a battery for your phone? Fine, but if somebody can't find me when they need me and something goes wrong, I'll make sure the department knows whose fault it is. Do we understand each other? Okay, then. Just stay calm. If it's really that urgent, I'll get it to you as soon as possible. I'm just completing the issue slip now. We don't have to argue or send complaints, do we? Okay, so that's a no I on see. that. I will storm in their office once I'm... <sighs> okay, calm down. I will drink a tea in the kitchen. Jennings better have bought me a new battery when I come back. <laughs> so threatening. Well, look at that. God, Just that walk cycle. Focused. Get upset at the right time, and I'll get what I need. For example, a heart attack. Ooh. Ooh. Here's the new battery for your phone. Keep the old one if you like. Signed by Jennings. See? Where there's a will, there's a way. You have the phone on you? Could it be? Nope. Finally, a new cell phone battery. I don't believe it. I do so you're not. Gonna have to, so you're going to have to run home and get your phone, I guess. Yeah. A cell phone battery. I can't believe it turned up. I still... If I take it, it'll end up forgotten in a pocket. And that's the best case scenario. <laughs> okay. I still don't know how I'm supposed to get the CD to Muriel. <laughs> Because she doesn't work in the lab, and she's not in the office. Did you have any other new messages on your uh, computer? Oh, fair point. I know we sent the one to uh, Pierre. And we have had tea since then. Pierre Bouillon. Terribly sorry that I couldn't respond to the email you sent on Tuesday regarding the translation. I had a week off, and I basically spent the whole time with my brother's family. 
He lives in a remote village, and he isn't on friendly terms with the internet. It was great to talk in Spanish for a while, and unfortunately in Portuguese as well. I think I told you about his wife. Anyway, if you still need the translation, send the text to me. I'm back now, and you know I'd do anything for you, more or less. Diego. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, so... That's fine. Well, you're going to have to get your phone working again. Yeah, I guess that's... Maybe later. I don't think there's a reason to write this. E there's no need to write to him again. All I wanted... I don't know what to write. Maybe later. Okay. That was worth checking. All right, head back home if you can. Yeah. You may need to ask somebody to get the CD to Muriel. Like a, a messenger? The only other I mean, person... Oh, okay. There are three humans that I've interacted with. Good night, Chibi. Oh, night, Chibs. Um, there's Grumpy Lab Man. There's Security Guard, who might be dating her, and Security Guard, who's not dating her. Security guard who might be dating her might be a really good idea. Yeah, it's better than the other two things I just said. Yep. Hey, security guard who might be dating her. Could you do me a favor, I'd Pills? I'd better just pass him the CD for Muriel. Damien, I need a favor from you. Of course, Miss Svedlova. I've got a CD here for my friend Muriel from the telephone exchange. I think you know who I mean. Could you give it to her <laughs> the next time you see her? Such yeah, tact. Work before she does. Something tells me you might meet later, after work. No, no. Someone's hiding something from old friends. But Rene, don't be foolish. Miss Svedlova, if you're hinting that uh, Muriel and I, you know how such things are viewed at work. Relationships between co-workers are frowned upon. Ooh, oh, hiss. shit, a time limit. Oh, shit, a time limit. I'm not hinting at anything, but it's a small world. Perhaps you'll meet by chance. Oh, that would be a real coincidence, wouldn't it? Well, theoretically, it's possible. If I happen to see her, I'll pass it on to her. Thanks, Damien. See you, Did Remy. He just stick that thing theoretically, tourists down his... Sit around here if there was anything to I see. mean, so did we and when we picked it up. Didn't send them oh, away my God. <laughs> Is that how he's looking to get with her? Okay. Cell phone. Don't even need to turn on the lights because it's still daytime. Closer, closer. Close enough, I think. Cell phones inserted directly into the pelvis. Battery. The cell phone, phone is totally dead now. I really can't make phone calls from it. I saw rotation buttons. The phone is totally. Is that required? Maybe you can. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Under this cover. Gotta take the old one out, I guess. The source of most of my life's misery. <laughs> a small, defective battery. May we all have such small problems. You put the battery here. <laughs> if I ever get one that works, it'll be like Christmas to me. All right. New battery. A dead phone without a battery. Not the. You put the battery here. Oh, can I? <laughs> if I ever. Ha ha! Figured it out. Interface problems. Got it. Ah. Seems I should check my email inbox. Ugh. Means I have to go back to work. I was going to say, you've also given it enough time for uh, Muriel to be a little more receptive to the favor Indeed. that you ask. Uh, yes, there is a computer on her desk, um, but she let I it break. The museum when I first... 
almost went to the wrong spot. Hey guys, bye guys. Um, this reminds me of a point and click adventure game that came in a bundle with two games about horses. And this game had nothing to do with horses. But it was a very compelling point and click game about a diamond theft. Um, and it's called The Diamond Mystery of Rosemont Valley. And this game is making me want to play it again. So you should look it up and maybe we'll do another long play of it someday. Because it, it's a lot like this. That'd be something. There's nothing. There's nothing! That's I'd fine. We have a reason to be here anyhow. We you do? gotta call Muriel. Oh, call Muriel. Yeah, to get our, uh, hopefully get our throughput to max. I thought they were meeting Jane, after work. Hi, this is Lara. I left the scene <laughs> with someone well, you might meet. Truthfully, not very much, Mayo. You are a terrible snoop. We got a new phone right for the, or I new battery for the phone, Muriel. and Will you get me the that's about it. Number now. Hey, who do you think I am? I started looking for him as soon as you called me. He's waiting on the line, but he doesn't sound very enthusiastic. Nice. You're amazing. Let me speak to him, please. Well, what's going on? Is this some kind of a joke? You pulled me out of a lecture. You know how long I waited for this chance. Do you know that if things go well, this could be regular for me? Max, Ostan Kovic called. You've got to fly to Petersburg. Tell him I can come next Thursday. You don't understand. You must fly today as soon as possible. What? He's not kidding, Max. He's in a fix and he needs your help. If you don't go, he'll ruin you. You know he's capable of that. So I have to drop everything just because Astankovich has got himself a problem? Yes. We both know you don't have a choice. Come back to Leon. We'll meet at the park and talk it through. I'm sorry, but there's nothing else you can do. But I... Hurry up and get the next plane. From the airport, go directly to the park. We'll meet there. See you later. How will she... No, he's... Ugh, plot holes. Are we also in the park? Fifteen hundred is three p.m. He was lecturing in that, or that's his flying clothes. Hi, I'm glad you. One reason. Give me one good reason why I should come running like a What's dog up, every time you were busted. Ferret! I thought called. you were playing Warframe. Max, How will she what? You is his question. Not to obey him. I made one mistake. I've helped him many times. How long will this Okay, go on? you made you an international mistake, art Max. forgery mistake. You made a huge mistake. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You forged paintings worth millions of dollars and sold them to get rich quick fund managers. And you got caught, trying to sell a forgery to the Hermitage. That's plain madness. Look, I'm grateful to you for persuading Austin Kovic to keep me out of jail, but I think I've made up for it. The case can be opened again any time, and he's capable of doing that. Until the file is officially closed, you have no choice. I promise that if you help him one more time, I'll do my best. He's downloading the update. Work. There's been some oh. trouble at the Hermitage. I should do that, but I don't think I can do that well, while I'm I doing this. I don't have much choice anyway, do I? Damn it, all right then, I'll go. Don't worry about your visa. You're traveling with special permission. Ostankovich has fixed it already. When it comes to manipulating the system, nobody Muscular matches Muscular girl is ready and the abs that. are now heavy breathing worthy. How do you earn her? I'll be thinking about you. Take care. It's not just going to appear in my arsenal. Between the West and the East, it's probably doing that mission, huh? Of past sins. Who holds your fate in their hands, Max? There's a shadow rising above you. Ah, it seems that Mayo's familiar with the goings on here. For now. The Heldron update. Yeah, I know. How do I get my, um. The city upon the Neva. My big buff Can girlfriend. You see it flowing? Into the distance, it will never return once it passes. There, it does not know. Just like you, Max. Oh, are we this guy now? I don't want to be this guy. Ending beyond the horizon. I want to be Russian um, art Interpol agent. Philip, please give a seat. 
Seems Mayo has been playing Warframe for about six years. Get the all the way the fuck out. Well, you might have a, you might have a new new guy for the team then. He's probably already if he's been playing six years, he's already got a clan, so he won't join ours. But ours is ours is better. It's not better. No, but but the, I just felt like I needed to say that. There's certainly discussions to be had though. Uh, Ferret has found that she is not earnable I yet. Expected you soon. What? If I had a choice, I wouldn't be here at all. You see that file on the table? It's That's a, a file? Record. And it says that refusing to help me could... Whoa, it seems Mayo wants to join yours. For you. I've helped <gasps> enough for you to close the case. His is inactive. Listen Richard, please? We all have nightmares. Yours is needing well, Can I keep help. him? Mine is the reason well, I'll feed him you. and walk him and take care of him. And I guess he's a horse, so I should start saying horse things. I'll then lunge we'll him when I can't ride him. <laughs> and I'll muck out his so stall it? every day. Well, Ferret, it sounds Thanks. like there's you some uh, me, you some can have the negotiation to be had here. Take care of the computer records. Did you well, think in I your wildest really dreams you'd host a, exactly. host a stream and this so would happen? No. I didn't think in my wildest dreams I'd host a stream and someone would watch it. What I can send you. So would this mutagen samples interest you? So hold your tongue, samples? Sure. Last night the security yes, system I in the think. state Isn't that Museum the one that we need eight billion of? Cameras, detectors, everything. Or is that the masses? The external system worked, so we know nobody went in. Anyway, we're ch no, some no, some theft is mystery. Is that everything on the inner circuit, including the backup sources, would fail? Next to impossible. Well, if something's happened there, an insider must have done it. A guard, someone who hid himself in there. I'm certain that nobody took anything out. Ferret and Mayo are now talking business. Good. During the preliminary investigation. Nothing's missing from the collection. So possibly it's an exchange. Why keep it secret? We can't go public with this. I am personally responsible for the collection. I chose the whole security system for the Hermitage. I chose the Ash entire Ash cigar, staff. dude. Soon I am to receive an award for my service at the Hermitage. A medal, Joran, from the president. But if it came to light that one of them tried to steal something in the museum... I get that, but what do you want from me? On the table, there is a permit to go into the Hermitage. I now have it guarded even from outside by a guy with the same temperament as a bulldog. Remember to be nice to him <laughs> to get inside. Then, phone me. And what can I do there? Leave that to me. Just get into the museum and call me back. Okay. I'm going to do something real quick. Uh, one moment, please, everybody. Okay. I'm back, baby. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be see... this guy. I was going to say, are you Austin able to see your chat? Coach, I am putting it up so past. I will have it so I can go Thanks back and look. Thanks to the file he's got on me, I have to help out his department from time to time. Unofficially, of course. This guy's My accent file. is bananas. The only reason why I have to obey Ostankovich. Durand, wouldn't you like to go now? I gotta look at all your stuff, dude. I can't imagine what Ostankovich <coughs> needs a globe for. The update has been delayed almost a week and was put off until 9 p.m. The update is almost a assured to be unstable in some way. Good one. Oh, that's an interesting point. Is this so going to break our hunting party? It won't be Pushkin. Perhaps a statesman. Ostankovich probably uses this to offer tea to his more important guests. That's a hell of a Your tea end. set. Wouldn't you like to go now? I feel like snooping around. You have the permit. Oh, I don't have the permit. I forgot to get it. Probably a Russian copy of an American one. I want it. Aha! This was important for me to snoop. Yeah, get that, get that permit too. Yeah, 
thought he said I could take the file, or maybe I can only take the file once I've been successful. You're not taking the file until you finish the mission, I'm quite sure. Yeah. At your end, wouldn't you like to go now? Hey, I'm just waiting for my pathfinding AI to get me there, okay? Give me a minute. It says internal communication in Cyrillic, and then there's something scribbled by hand. A pass to the Hermitage. I will certainly need that. Yeah, his accent is a capital T thing. Are you enjoying it? I don't know. I don't like not being able to place accents. I'm also not very good at it. Yeah, okay, I'm going. So now we're in Petersburg. Well, the next place to go now is the. I don't think uh, I need to call anyone in Petersburg. Do I get a I car? Guess the, I guess ah, the Hermitage. The 1500. I've read about it. This tinny beast could be a hundred years old for all I know. But when the temperature hits minus 30, it's certainly the right car for the job. Okay. Gee, it looks kind of wet. Modern art has always fascinated me. To create things, you only need a garage, a blowtorch, and a pile of junk. <laughs> Not an altogether unfair assessment. Some artists want to express only the essential things. I wonder what Lara would think of this philosophy of art. I don't know. If the only we got to play her. Shapes in contrast to the historic courtyard of the Winter Palace. I think I know what the artist wanted to say. I don't. Yeah, you're going to want to talk to him first. It looks like the guard isn't very enthusiastic about his duty. He's obviously quite cold. He's holding an unlit cigarette. I need to get inside. I don't care what you need. You mustn't go any further. I can help you, sir. I have mm. and lighter. Lighting my cigarette sounds great. But first I want to see a permit. If you have one, you can light my cigarette afterwards. I can do that. Do 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 I can go in. I have a permit. Show it to me. Well, I doubt that I'm standing here all night long looking forward to smoking another one in the rain and cold so that the damned American could have a private knock American he is not I'm French French German or French American maybe I don't give a damn there's something <laughs> strange about this permit Apparently don't Mayo thinks to let anybody inside Mary Look, Mayo's thinking something about needing a permit to light a cigarette. Unfortunately, <laughs> just like you, I have no choice. This is Russia. Who we knows? We don't have to make life difficult for each other, do we? <clears throat> this permit was issued by your superior. I think you should do what it says. So, now you're telling me what to do. But we were supposed to be nice to like him. Like I said before, this permit is just a shred of drenched paper. And nobody told me to expect visitors. Unless somebody gives me different orders... It's too bad for you. Now can I light your cigarette? I did technically show it to you. Ostankovich. Candy Aha! For a Perfect timing, boss. Are you there yet? I'm out front, but I've got a problem. The guard won't let me in. Of course he won't just let you in. Show him the permit. Use your brains. But I have shown... Oh, he hung up. Damn. What now? Uh, that was my get out of jail free card. Why didn't he just put the policeman on the phone with Austin That's a Kovic? great question. It looks like the guard isn't very enthusiastic about his still... duty. He's obviously quite cold. I need to use the lighter now, get... I guess. 
or hand the perm. Would you like a I'm really sorry that you're stuck here, but if you think you're the only one Ostankovich jerks around, you're wrong. You can go home and sleep in the morning. I don't have it so easy. Let me inside. You know the permit is genuine. Yeah, sure, get okay, his attention that then. way. Just go. Mayo said hey. pretty much the same thing. Talk to him okay, next to the life. policeman. I think do something to make it clear to the guy that... Apparently, lighting his cigarette after that phone call was all he needed. Sometimes a simple courtesy. He's mostly just defeated. Alright, spooky museum. Can you, can you blame the guy? Into the hall it is, since that seems to be the only thing. Awesome staircase. Darkness everywhere. A storm outside. I can think of more pleasant places to spend the night. I'm curious what Astankovich wants me to do here. To find out, I should call him. Ooh. Boy, I hope this isn't about to turn into a horror game. I am not in the mood. That was not the right button. Well, at least I can get a strong enough signal here to make a phone call. Let's hope it doesn't fade. You jinxed it. Well, Whit, what would you say the plot yeah, of this game is so far? So Seems long. like it centers around a, uh, an investigation of art forgery. It's not yet. Well, maybe. What would you say it is so far? I would say it's an investigation into a possible forgery with setting up a B plot of a murder. I want you to go in tonight and mm. take a very close look around at absolutely everything. What is that? Is it April Fool's Day in Russia today? Do you think that what you've got on me makes me your slave uh -oh. or an idiot? I'm out of here, Colonel. Your end. All I have to do is pick up this phone and make one call, and your life is over. You go to the worst prison in Russia, and you rot there. First, I want you to inspect everything. Murder the person who forged it? Possible. Find out something. You are the expert, and I want your expert opinion on what happened here. So, either I run around like a fool all night long, or I end up in a Russian prison. That's a difficult decision to make. I hope this comes back to haunt you. That someday someone will put you through something like this. Spare me your hysteria, Duran. Now for your second task. I need you to examine the precious items in the museum. Try to find How will I know? traces of tampering. Ensure they are not counterfeits. You sure you don't have a third job? Irrigate Africa before sunrise, Duran? <laughs> you need labs and machinery for those sorts of tests. They can take days, weeks even. And you want me to look at dozens of paintings in the dark? And I'm only talking about the most expensive ones here. And yeah, he's got a point. A this forgery? is wildly unreasonable. You should have called a magician, not me. Yes, yes, I am sure there will be a few small difficulties. That's good reason to start right away. If you find something, call me immediately. Well... Well, I don't think attitude got you anywhere. No. Well, let's start with this. Is this art? Oh, this will be fun. We can examine everything and ask ourselves, is this an art? Nobody's going to steal this, really. I'd bet my life on that. All right, is this an art? Take this amphora, for example. Even if it was fake, how could I tell in the dark? Ostankovich must have gone nuts. Cool. This is gonna be this kind of day. Ancient vase, are you art? Small difficulties. Yeah, what a dick. <coughs> Third, perhaps fourth century before Christ. A nice piece. Original, most likely. Wow, this is gonna be a very boring game. One more time, why can't we play as the interesting Russian 
um, agent. I don't care about the windows. You can't steal a window. Can we go any fit? Yeah, run! You suppose there's a way to turn on the lights in there? Uh, How about finding a switch, I guess. Oh, good. It's lit enough. We might be able to make this work. How did you run, by I the way? Double clicking. Paintings, okay. When they were painted, what colors were <laughs> used? But whether one of them is a forgery, no way. Not without specialized equipment. Is he just gonna whine about all of it? Is there something more I should be doing? Should I call Lara? The Lisa's rest of the corridor is closed off. According to what it says here, the exhibition will be open again in 14 days. Restoration work is in progress. Yes, I can see an empty wall at the end of the corridor. It's useless, no point to it. What the hell does he think I'll find here? It's high time I call Astankovich and tell him that this whole undertaking is absurd. Uh, again? I guess. I don't love the what sound the of that. What does Astankovich think? That I can just look at the painting and tell it's a fake right away? Okay, he's, he's, that's all he's saying. Ugh. This makes me uncomfortable. I don't have a signal. Okay, does that mean we go back to the place where we did? Near the window, you mean? Most yeah. likely. I mean, this is typical even in reality. You don't have signal, find the nearest window. Hmm. I don't think I want to open the window. It's raining outside, and it will be locked. Yeah, you buried the lead about the locked thing. Mm. What have you found? <sighs> Seems a little soon for you to be calling. Look, I've gone through the exhibits, but without proper examination, I have no way of finding anything out. The only thing that struck me is that closed corridor in the hall of Peter the Great. What happened to the painting? The day before yesterday, the frame of the painting was damaged. Fortunately, the canvas survived and the work is being restored. Probably a vandal. Could it be related to yesterday's system crash? Maybe it was a test to check how well the security system works. I must say it sounds intriguing. I'll definitely have it looked at. Does that mean we can go so, to bed? we can talk about this like reasonable people. And you forget about that idea. To be here. Uh oh. Pre rendered cutscene. Hello, are you there? What's going on? Joran, stop. What? Hey, stop. What? What was that? Someone's there. What? Better go after him. Somebody ran through here a moment ago and knocked down the barriers, but now he's gone. The corridor leads to the Hall of Peter the Great and doesn't go any further. Cutscene is very of its really time, strange. says Leo. Yeah, well, for then. 2006, that's not terrible. Hey, do you want to finish that phone call? No? Okay. What's going Forget on? Forget that then? at this point. Someone ran by me a moment ago, and I don't think he could walk through walls. Sounds like a... I can't see much to examine here. There was a painting here. It's no longer here. It's simple. And it's too dark to see more details of the wall. Yeah, where's your fucking lighter? This painting is being restored. There is a sign beside the barriers. Lighter? A bit of light could help. That's the place where somebody damaged the frame of a painting. It's being restored at the moment. Yeah, try and the read that. The painting is being restored at the moment. Its frame was <sighs> damaged. Fortunately, the canvas survived. The flame. There's a draft coming from the bottom of the wall. Sure, there must be a secret <laughs> door in this wall. But how will it open? Something's telling me the gap at the bottom of the wall has something to do with opening the secret door. Well, all right then. Check it. There's a gap here. Surely helps me to open the secret door. All right, do it. The gap under the door is too narrow. My fingers won't go through. I need something thinner. Like a piece of paper thinner? 
too thin. Like a painting? Are we about to do bad stuff? I can't tell much about the painting. What about not like this without special equipment? What this about the hook at the red rope? The, the one holding up the sign about the Peter exhibit. Are nil hmm. under these conditions. It's better than nothing. This rope keeps visitors from going where they shouldn't. <laughs> Not really. Obviously. A strong piece of rope. Maybe I'll need it. Wow, I can't believe they animated all of that. An iron hook on which to hang a rope. Yeah. I can't unscrew it, it's too tight. This rope, a strong piece of rope. Maybe I'll need it. Two ropes. Two ropes converged in An yellow iron wood. hook on which to hang a rope. There we go. Second hook? I can't unscrew it. Use it's the too first tight. hook to unscrew the second hook? It doesn't fit this. Okay, fine. We're not gonna need the second hook. I don't you don't, I don't look think. it's so small. How could you get any leverage? I'm sure MacGyver here can find a way. Video game logic. Now, where will the secret door lead to? Hey, have you thought about calling the 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 soldier man? The door closed itself automatically. If someone attacks me here, Ostankovich and his people See, this is why we out. call for help. This would be the mechanism that opens the door from inside. Looks like it was fixed recently. Well, then let's go. I feel like we need to continue here, though. I know, but we shouldn't. Mm, my gut tells me we should if we ever want to I know. Break. Video games are dumb and wrong. If we ever want to break Ostinkovich's hold of us. I think we've done our job. Anyway. Yeah, but what if we find something on Ostinkovich? Uh... Super unlikely, but I guess possible. Sure, let's turn this. Uh, it's a bit rusty. I can't do much about it. Okay. I'm actually not sure what these rotten rags were supposed to insulate. Surprisingly, the rags are mine quite now. Dry. I guess. I'll see if I can use them for something. Adventure games are always so strange. Old pipes secured with a metal bracket. Can I have these two? I need to loosen this somehow. Hook? No. Mm -hmm. It's strange that the lights work. It doesn't look like anybody mm -hmm. looks after this place. Well, only one way to go. The handrail looks quite solid. More solid than the ladder, that's for sure. Everything looks really run down and unsafe. But I think we're gonna have to do it anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake! No fucking way! No, oh my no, goodness, no! That was close. I could have got killed. Yeah, I was gonna. Absolutely not. Why hasn't this Rope. happened to the person who was here before me? Luck is really not on my side. Yeah. I'm not climbing down there before I fix the ladder. Rope. Rope, 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 everybody. Soap on a rope. Pope on a rope. Father Guido Sarducci. He was very nonchalant about almost dying. 
Yeah, I mean, I got an adrenaline rush from it. No, just one? Are you fucking mad? I'm not going into the dark. Who knows what the ladder's like? What if it suddenly ends in the dark before it reaches the bottom? Do you have another suggestion? There's something in that broken piece of floor. Broken piece of floor? Oh yeah, look at that. A piece of stone from the floor. We're we just gonna throw it in the hole and see if we can echolocate the bottom? Ooh. No. Wow, that's I mean, perfectly cube cuboidal. Maybe, but we can't just yeet it into the darkness. You could probably knock that bracket loose with the stone. If I want to use it, I should have a closer look. Then why do you give me the option to use it from back here, you dumbass? Yeah! Wow, you're really good at this. Have you played this before and you're just not telling me? No, I just... Really no adventure games? I'm a QA guy. That helps, too. Hardly anything it's done a lot for them. my critical thinking, having the job that I have now. Mm. No, my stones are not cubes, mayo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ferret says rags plus lighter equals torch. Who knows what the ladder's like? What if it suddenly ends in the dark? Certainly a good thought. Okay, so I would say bracket as the handle. A nice torch. Right. Rags it is the thing. Won't burn for long, but it should help to see what's down the Apparently ladder. that is the answer. I don't know. It's no dumber than the the rubber duck plus band aid plus jumper cables. That's good enough. At first glance, it looks safe down there. And the corridor goes further. I suggest getting down there before the torch goes out. This is such an easy way to die. And no one will ever find you. Maybe take the They'll torch? Go out in a moment. I should hurry up. Cannot have. Okay. It doesn't look well. like there was somebody hiding behind it. Well, this is the end of this guy. I hope we finally get to play as the other lady again. Cause he's gonna fucking die down here. I might play it safe Banksy! at this point and Hey, stay where you are. He's Don't definitely not gonna I mean it. Wasn't that loose ladder enough? Freeze! No Get away from the painting, or I'll shoot! <laughs> that wasn't the best idea. Whoop. God, what am I trying to do? Um, I thought I could run to I him. I didn't know it was going to be tough. I, I didn't that's... know I was going to skip move. it. I would leave that door propped if I was you. I'm going to come over to you. No tricks, or I will use it. See, this guy wearing sneakers? The man is wearing a monk's habit, or something very like it. What have I got myself into? You want to risk that door locking behind you? Stop! Don't move! Damn, I hope he's not armed. You don't have anywhere to run. All the exits are guarded. You don't stand a chance. Neither you nor the police can stop me. Damn, this doesn't lead anywhere. The police are on their way. I don't see how you this is particularly escape. positive. Listen to me. Leave before you get hurt. This is none of your business. It's Damn, actually this super my anywhere. Okay, fine. Leave the painting where it is. Yeah, I had a feeling. That's the end of this guy. I hope we get to play as the Russian lady again. Wow, he did he really dead ass die? Possible. Get the fuck out! Did he really he fucking die? Contacted me ages ago. He's been away for more than a day. Where are you, Max? Damn. Oh my actual god. Svetlova S W O A. It's Pierre here, Blizzlava. Well, well, look who's calling now. 
No, but for real, is he dead? I didn't, I didn't need him to die. I just didn't want to play as him anymore. Oh, bitch. Oh, boy. Also, what happened to the sound? Music, yes. Voice, no. Game has no chill, indeed. Hey, voice acting? Come back. Well, it's even worse. Oh. That Red Demer told her that you did it. So Charlotte is mad at you especially. But it wasn't my job at all. I know I told her that, but you should be able to do it with your qualifications, huh? Fortunately, uh. you have another chance. I need your help again in the lab. Pierre, are you crazy? I have enough work already. Okay, let's have a deal. You worked in the States, right? Could you find out some police details on the death of Professor Abramchikov? Sure, why not? I still have some contacts. Why don't you claim it by yourself as an official Interpol request? No, it is actually not an official matter. I just have bad feeling. I knew him personally. Oh, I'm sorry. I will check it out, of course. It may take a bit because I'm not in Lyon at the moment. Okay, looks like we have a deal. You send me what you figured out on Abramchikov, and I will solve your little problem in the lab. What do you need? There's a new chromatograph in the lab. Charlotte wants to have an analysis of the forgery to get more information. Demer will do the analysis, but you have to calibrate the Wait, calibrate. no. No, that would careful. never happen. Well, I think I'll manage with the handbook. Oh, hello. Ugh. The manual is missing, but I'm sure you can handle this. The basic instructions are in the database. I have to run. Bye for now. Pierre. Pierre. Damn. That makes me want to throw up. Oh, boy. Also, is this guy, like, actually dead and we're just going to let that happen? I, I mean... At least Pierre put some information on the chromatograph for me in the database. As far as I know, Pierre. This is an alarming screensaver. Gas chromatograph, GCT 55XD, <laughs> Interpol General Folder. Basic procedures and environment. Please take into consideration that the XD version is designed to operate in the interior at, a standard, te at standard temperatures and humidity. Environment type 2, as stated in Appendix A. Using the machine in different conditions can lead to inaccurate results and or damage of the device. Set the accelerator specifications according to Appendix B. For new devices, it is recommended to use the lowest accelerator settings for at least the first 25 measurements. Damn, this is too close to work. <laughs> in its default initial mode, 3, the device doesn't report deviations from non-standard conditions. After measurement, check the values by an external method and ascertain that the measured values comply with the norms set down by Appendix A. This fucking sucks. Mayo seems to think that Max will get saved by the monk. He doesn't think he's inherently evil. Hmm. Possibly. And also, I don't know. I don't know if he, like, is straight up drowned, but he definitely went under the water. Um... What I remember about the lab is that it gets very hot in there, so maybe mm -hmm. that is going to be a problem. Mm. Um, it's new, so lowest accelerator settings. And it won't tell us deviations from non-standard conditions? Is Appendix A somewhere on this uh, mail? Nope, because everyone hates us. <laughs> Well, back to uh, to the lab, I guess. <sighs> Ding. Now, where's the chromatograph? Well, like, here. <laughs> uh, uh no, Damaris is not here. Test. Our new chromatograph. I hope it lasts longer than that wreck we had before. Let's touch it. Oh, fuck me. Chromatograph circuit. Without the electric cable. Hey! There's no reason for it to be turned off. All uh, right. I think I've solved problem number one. Warning. At the first calibration of the device, it is necessary to choose the calibration protocol three. Okay. 
Game is Russian or from a recent Russian satellite state. Ferret bets it. Russia is a fascist country, so the culture is <clears throat> informed by fascist myths. In this case, that life is a struggle against enemies who prevent happiness from being attainable. So the only glory is to die a noble death against the people who oppose you. I'd be unsurprised if he did die. It's a very Russian ending. But this is a very Russian beginning. <laughs> I mean, this is Ferret's, it's uh, better to switch on the machine Ferret's belief. Before you press anything. Is run the on it's button? It's always better no? to switch on the machine before you press anything. Switch, huh? Switch? Switch? Alright! Please enter valid values to calibrate the device stated in the manual. Press run to continue. I Protocol was three. Run now. Okay, run first. Okay. There you go. Environment oh. two. Environment two. Oh, I fucked up. Turn off. Turn off. Protocol Celebration three. Celebration protocol was three. Accelerator's the lowest. Yes. Uh. The default initialization mode. I. Boys? Probably three. Go with three. Warning. At the... When in doubt, go right down the middle. Three. Uh. Oh. Was that good? Did I do Good. it? That's that done. Next time we should insist on the man. What if we did it wrong and we won't find out till mar till tomorrow and we get fired? Oops. Some chemical agents used for analysis. Fortunately, this isn't part of my job. Ah, seems I should check my email inbox. Okay. Well, the last time no, I said that, what? that wasn't true. What? You know what? I believe the initialization mode was mentioned in the computer. Do you remember what it was? Three. Are you I sure? Think, yeah. I mean, we got to go back to the office to check the email. You may as well, you may as well read the screen again. I'm almost entirely certain I remember three it being attached to init value. God, I can't escape the concepts of work. Yeah. QA soft software and hardware. Yep. And the fact of my recent promotion doesn't help me escape either. Really? You'll still be doing that? I mean, it doesn't take me off of actually doing the work. Mm. It just means I have a little more power of delegation. Yay! You're right. <sighs> doesn't report deviation from non-standard conditions. My critical thinking has gotten a lot stronger, too. It really looks like it was a tragic coincidence. Professor, you didn't deserve such an end. How many times did I tell you that those night walks would be the death of you? Get up and go for a walk. Go to the <laughs> park. In the rain. Fell over the banister into the water. Death by drowning. No discrepancies, no witnesses. Black limousine. Lord of Death, Alcohol, Misadventure, John. A drunken man witnessing a black limousine. Colonel Ostankovich is on the phone. Yellow. Good morning, Colonel. Did you find anything? Laura, Max had an accident. I think you should. They found know. him? An accident? What, what accident? Is he all right? He found some long forgotten underground area in the Hermitage. He shouldn't have gone there at all. And what happened to him? He fell into the water there. We found him shortly I suppose after he did like cut happened. off the phone call oh my suddenly. God. Is he alive? It would be best if you came here at once. No, Come no, you can office. answer that question. You must go now. Ostankovich, is he alive? What's the matter with him? Ostankovich! My god, Ostankovich. Okay, come on, dude. That was a yes or no question. Yeah, that 
That's gonna leave horrible things to the imagination. Actually, I think so am I. I got on the first plane. What's the matter? Oh, I can't. I was gonna Is dramatically cut off. He's in here. the intensive care unit. He hasn't woken up yet. Apparently, he was under the water for some time, and the doctors are afraid. <laughs> of trope references. I love it. You might want to see this. Fortunately, the water was ice cold. That slowed down his vital functions. Mm. Perhaps if someone he knows was around, it might help us to wake him up. And how did it actually happen? He called me from the hermitage, but the call was cut off. We went to investigate. We couldn't find him. It was as if he had vanished into thin air. In the morning, we got a report from a patrol who had found a body in an outlet on the shore of Niva. Jesus. We identified him immediately. He must have got there from the hermitage cellars, where the most precious works of art were stored in the war. But why did he venture there on his own? It's a miracle he survived. Someone up there must really like him. It seems strange that he would just hang up to go to examine the cellars. That's not like Max. At the moment, there's nothing. Hang on. Ostankovic. Yes, of course. Can he be moved? Good, thanks. The hospital? He must be awake. Yes, he's over the worst of it. He even came to his senses for a while. There doesn't seem to well, be any long-term damage. And I might not have to play as him now anymore. we need to get him somewhere peaceful and quiet. Thank God. We could take him to my old flat. When I'm in France, only my aunt lives there. That's not a bad idea. I'll arrange it. No, I think he should stay in the hospital. But, okay. He's really lucky. If he hadn't gone to the hermitage in the first place, he wouldn't need luck. You just won't stop, will you? If your attitude... Look, he's waking up. Where am I? What happened? Shh, don't tire yourself out. You're safe. Everything is all right. Am I in Petersburg? What are you doing here? You had an accident in the Hermitage. For a while, it didn't look wow, so his good face. for you, so I had her come here. Looks like he's wearing, like, six or eight layers of foundation. You. Oh, my God. That monk. There was a man there. He's delirious. He was all alone in the building. All right, shut up, no. asshole. No, you don't understand. There was a man in monk's clothes, and he was taking a painting by Delaroche, the one that should hang in the gallery. I followed him, and he found the secret passage. But then he escaped. A monk. I should call the hospital and find out hey, he wants to be pretty be don't judge or memory problems. Yeah, yikes. Head trauma can cause that. He could hardly have hallucinated the secret passage and as for the painting, better check that there isn't a forgery hanging in your gallery. Of course, but I'll have to arrange it in a way that doesn't cause too much stir. In any case, I won't okay. Need to hear any longer. When this cutscene is over, me. I have to I'd stop. stay with him. Until he recovers more. Because your I have an appointment. Your concern for him is certainly touching. But your presence here could draw the attention of Interpol to what happened here. You don't have to worry about him. He's important to me. I'll look after him myself. Did anyone warn the ant that this guy, all of these people were coming? That I know of. So does she go to the museum now? Mm. Max, Max, what did we get ourselves into? Take care of yourself here. When you wake up, I'll be back in Rion. I will tell my aunt that you will stay here for a few days. Why are these screen savers so bouncy? Okay. Safe. All right. Looks like it's... Have you been saving at the beginning of each act, or...? No, but I think it does. Cool. Indeed. Well, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise, um, it has been kind of fun. I, you mm. think this is good enough for a long play? Mm. I'm wondering how long this could possibly be. Yeah, see if you can find any information on it without giving yourself too many spoilers. I will certainly try. Uh, 
I don't hate it. I don't either. All right. Well, with that apparently. glowing recommendation, I have to All right. go. All right. Apparently, there are 18 acts. What are we on now? Just after five. Okay. So, so depending on the size of these acts, we are roughly a third of the way through this game. I would say they probably get a little longer. So maybe three, four sessions? Yeah. Definitely take us through the rest of March, maybe into a little bit of April. Cool. Okay, I gotta bounce. Um, yeah, have fun. And um, so thank you for watching. With yes, that... thank you guys. Thank you. I will leave us with our new traditional greeting. Or it's farewell, I suppose. One, two, three. Good night, stupid. Good night, stupid. <laughs>